श्रीकांत डू यू थिंक ऑल सक्सेसफुल पीपल हैव अ हाई ओपिनियन ऑफ दमसेल्स दे आर वेरी कॉन्फिडेंट ऑफ दमसेल्स हो या एब्सोल्युटली सो मोस्ट पीपल आर वरीड दैट दे गॉट लकी एंड दे डोंट डिजर्व टू बी वेयर दे आर ओके इट्स कॉल्ड इंपोस्टर सिंड्रोम एंड वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस देयर इज अ नेम फॉर इट इन फैक्ट देयर इज अ लवली एग्जांपल लेट मी स्टार्ट विद दैट ओके नील गेमन is a very popular author okay he's written many books and a lot of his books have been converted into movies tv shows all kinds of stuff right yeah. american gods you must have heard of and uh, good omens good omens right yeah. so neil goman uh, gaiman was once invited to a gathering of artists scientists writers discoverer of things right okay that seems and to be like an illustrious society to be yes in, in fact neil gaiman himself ha huh. felt Oh my god these are such great people and what am i doing here right huh. i just wrote some books and they are not even that good huh. uh, right so he was feeling very out of place there huh. and he was kind of sort of hanging off on the side hmm. and he ran into another neil a, another person at the same party hmm. whose name whose was also neil also neil huh. and that guy hmm. told him hmm. the told, other neil to- told neil gaiman huh. that you know what i don't know what i'm doing here I just look at all these people, and I think, what the heck am I doing here? They have made amazing things. I just went where I was sent. Huh. Shall I tell you who the other Neil was? Please do, because I think I have an idea about who this Neil is. Neil Armstrong. Okay. Okay. So both of them, these great people, felt that they didn't belong in that gathering, right? Yeah. So. this is a problem and i am sure you have this in some part of your life most people have there are a few psychopaths who don't have this but <laughs> don't look at me i am not one of those psychopaths no, 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 you have please this. you you have a lot of imposter syndrome right yes uh, in fact i mean we don't know for sure but some estimates by actual research hmm. uh, done indicates that up to 80% of the people might have Uh, this problem right? that's four out of every five people right hmm. so we will link a video of magnus carlsen okay the chess whiz well chess whiz as in he is the greatest chess player ever okay yes. in tennis we can have a big argument about who is the goat right beat sampras or it could be sampras i mean we can argue yeah, and yeah. we can go on and on sure. but I in beat sampras chess, there is no question in chess there is something called an elo rating which gives a number hmm. okay and magnus carlsen has a number higher than anybody in history higher than kasparov higher than anyone else right he is the greatest chess player ever hmm. and you should watch his video hmm. where he says that you know once in a while in a game he makes a mistake and then suddenly he starts getting all nervous and he's like i don't know what i'm doing and i don't know and all of that magnus right? carlsen magnus carlsen has imposter syndrome okay, okay. another lovely example hmm. is a Professor called June Ha. June okay. Ha. Hmm. Hmm. So he's a oh. Princeton mathematician. Okay. And he so got he... the Fields Medal, right? Think That's like that. the Nobel Prize of mathematics. I yes. shouldn't Do make you know that comparison, why? but yeah, because Nobel prizes don't give prizes in mathematics because <laughs> you know Nobel's wife ran away with a mathematician. That's why. <laughs> Actually, that is not true. I know it's not, but she it's did. always a fun story to yes. tell people. <laughs> she did run away with a mathematician, but that's not why there isn't a prize. Yeah, it was complicated reasons. Okay, another episode, anyway, another day. Ah, yeah, but Jun Ha. Jun Ha won the, the Fields, Fields medal. medal, and then somebody asked him, "How did it feel to win the Fields Medal?" And he said, "कैसा लग रहा है आपको?" हाँ, he said, "Not very good." हाँ, huh? because he said, "You know what?" What if they find out that I'm not really that smart, right? And then they'll say, "How did he get the Fields Medal?" Yeah, these these imposter syndromes are making my imposter syndrome look absolutely unnecessary yes. and pointless. I'm feeling imposter syndrome about my imposter yes. syndrome. Yes, my imposter syndrome isn't as good as other people's imposter syndrome. It's <laughs> not. I mean, Magnus Carlsen, June Ha, Fields Medal, yeah. Chess Grandmaster, yeah. Elo Rating Number One. Yeah. Shrikant. Yeah. What's So a lot of people, a lot of accomplished people, you, your boss, your colleagues. I mean, we do a good job of hiding it, mm. but inside, a lot of us have this problem, right? Yeah. Um, by imposter syndrome, what do I mean, right? Mm. The feeling that our ideas are not good enough. Yeah. To be shared with, uh, to 
to be discussed by so many people our skills aren't that great we are kind of lucky to be where we are i am i'm very lucky to be where i am yes. sitting next to navin hello a good number of people also worry that you know someday they're going to be found out and kicked out tomorrow yes i will be found out tomorrow 100% a feeling that we haven't earned our accomplishment i have right and feeling of being a fraud a little bit right okay. so this is imposter syndrome okay you know that episode on barnum statements hmm. these sound like barnum statements to me but they are not because they are about me <laughs> they are no, true but, no no this one this is again true about a lot of people right hmm. and this has been a well studied problem hmm. and it is a problem okay okay i mean we have to take it seriously you have to take it seriously because the effects of imposter syndrome hmm. can be quite bad and serious if you are not careful oh like what what so one is that it causes stress i mean if you are constantly worried that you are going to be found out and yeah. demoted or yelled at or scolded or something right it causes stress it also makes you work harder push yourself it's a good thing depends up till a certain point it's a good thing beyond that it will cause burnout okay burnout is a serious problem yeah yeah the anxiety and pushing yourself beyond that limit that limit it actually decreases job performance there are studies showing the relationship between how much imposter syndrome you feel and how your performance dips you know right? somebody once pointed out that i have a four year cycle as in mm-hmm. i work for four years then take a sabbatical for four yeah. years then work for four years again and now i'm at the end of my four year sabbatical yeah. <laughs> I can see how my imposter syndrome contributed to this four-year cycle. Yes. That yeah. stress, that burnout. It's a yeah. four-year cycle yeah. for me. For also, you, it might be different. Also, I mean, it undermines your confidence. It does. Right? It does. Because of that, exam performance gets worse if you have imposter syndrome. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Now, I, I mean, like, although I said that it affects al- almost everybody, hmm. but some people are affected far more. than others right okay uh, for example hmm. minority groups yeah right because they already i mean the all they are already society, in a minority and therefore they already have that additional stress i stress. Yeah. And all of society for centuries has probably been convincing them that they are not good enough and on top of that their imposter syndrome is saying the same thing right yeah Uh, so, so that's, that's double imposter syndrome exactly. imposter in, in 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 the society setting mm-hmm. and imposter in your own personal yeah. head another thing is that young people suffer more right as you get older mm-hmm. after a while you do figure out two things right one is that everybody else is in the same boat <laughs> and second is that you probably have like you know 20 30 years of experience that you didn't get fired nothing bad happened right women suffer more right yes. again all of society spends a lot of time telling women that they are inadequate right yeah. and then they feel inadequate so That's uh, i true. mean in fact in general this whole gender and imposter syndrome it's a very interesting uh, interesting problem right hmm. because women suffer more but hmm. you can't just go around telling women that oh well you know it's just your imposter syndrome so you have to now be more aggressive on the job yeah that's that's right? that's not that's not going to i mean i get why it is being said but it puts more pressure on them yeah right and maybe you know there in fact what some women have said hmm. that you don't don't even call it imposter syndrome right it like imposter is like a fairly bad word right okay so instead just keep con- trying to convince them that don't sell yourself short yeah right yeah but uh, so what you want to do hmm. is you know putting the burden on the women hmm. that they should fix their imposter syndrome <laughs> right that's just that's not the right way right i mean what imagine you- one they are already in a minority group called women second hmm. they have imposter syndrome and then on top of that you are piling them on with the responsibility of fixing themselves yeah. whereas they don't really need to fix anything right. right what you should be doing is change the culture hmm. of your organization hmm. so that women minorities people with imposter syndrome everybody are listened to without having to become aggressive right everybody yeah. is appreciated i mean generally increase the kindness yeah in general i think it's a good thing for all organizations to do where yeah. uh, uh, acknowledge efforts yeah. acknowledge people acknowledge their contributions hmm. and be kind generally be kind don't talk about going to pity city yeah, yeah. i'm referring to that 
video. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So I think you know we should talk about if you have imposter syndrome or if it is affecting you, hmm. right? What should you do about? Oh yeah. Good right? question. Yeah. Right? I was still. First uh, of all, accept that it is imposter syndrome, right? So accept that you are probably as good as any of the others. Hmm. Talk to people about it, right? Because one of the problems is that you feel you are an imposter and you have to hide it from everybody. Otherwise, you will get found out. Everybody is like that, right? So talk to at least find someone who is a safe person that you can talk to. Even better if it's a somebody senior who's been through that scene uh, things, right? Yeah, mentors help a lot with your imposter syndrome, and this I can uh, vouch for with personal experience. I found some really great mentors, Naveen being yeah. one of them. um and a couple of others uh, who have really helped me come out yeah. of my own head yeah understand that it is normal hmm. and then reframe it in positive terms right because like you said initially at least, at least until some point it makes you work harder and that's good right yeah. it just make sure that it doesn't go beyond that right but other little things can help keep a success journal okay I do make a list of your accomplishments. I I have recently started keeping a success journal. It's still yes. empty. Okay. <laughs> That's where you take the help of others. Ask others to give you suggestions to put in there and you take their I still haven't put definition. I still haven't put this series in my success journals. Do you think you I should? <laughs> do you think I should? I think yeah. I, I I don't know if I should. you know keep a success journal. Hmm. Get others help. in adding things to the success journal and visit it once in a time we tend to forget yeah <laughs> our successes and focus everything on our failures yeah that's because you are always looking to improve you we've always been told that you have to improve yourself you yes. have to get better so yeah. successes are theek hai yaar there are another milestone along the way but the focus is to get better to okay. get to make yourself better and so all that so that's good if it is helping you uh, to make you better it is bad if it is stressing you out and causing your performance to go down right so understand the difference uh, between those and look for organizational support right the more established uh, an organization is hmm. the better the chances that there is someone somewhere in there who can or will help hmm. in such situations and worst case there are some people for whom it is like like a major anxiety hmm. Uh, hmm. sometimes it causes panic right they should visit a professional right yeah uh that also definitely helps if you are the kind who is prone to anxiety and panic you should definitely anyways go see a professional a therapist yes. and work I those mean, issues out anxiety and panic are clinical mental conditions yeah and a professional can help both uh, a therapist who can help you understand how to deal with it Oh, well, I, I can vouch for it. And it a helps. And psychiatrist who can give you actual medication because some of this is because of chemical imbalances. Absolutely agreed. Yes. Again, I can vouch for it. It helps. Mm-hmm. We have a huge stigma against mental health and mental health practitioners and mental health issues in this country, mm-hmm. and that stigma needs to go away because uh, therapy, um, medicines are both very helpful. And a, I can vouch for it from personal experience, and b. you don't you can't knock it until you've tried it hmm. so all your stigma needs to be put in a box and that box needs to be thrown into the gutter and you need to think out of that box yes. come out of that box and yeah but uh, tell me something hmm. uh your from whatever you've told me so far it seems like i need to shed my imposter syndrome and become no 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 no, no, no. okay imposter syndrome is a good thing if you get rid of it completely yeah. right you are going to think you are like the cat's paws you are like the coolest right the bees knees bees knees you are going to stop improving you are going to get lazy yeah. and you might be at the danger of running into the dunning kruger effect right we will do another episode on it but the basic idea i i've heard of this what is this remind me again the basic idea is that the most accomplished people have the least confidence in their abilities <laughs> and a little bit of vice versa okay? yeah. so you don't want to be in the vice versa part of that right you yeah. can't get better if you are not worried that you are not good enough right so you want to have imposter syndrome just a little bit uh, just a little bit but it shouldn't affect you that much right in mm-hmm. fact 
uh, Tyler Cowen is an economist at GMU. Okay. A uh, very smart person. I love GMU is George Mason University. Okay. I love uh, his writings. Hmm. He has written a book called Talent where he talks about you know interesting ways for looking for the most talented people and one of the things he looks for hmm. is imposter syndrome oh right okay he looks for imposter syndrome yes he will not hire a person who does not have imposter syndrome right because where whole, can i apply yeah, it means that you are setting your sights high yeah. right if you don't think you have imposter syndrome then your standards are so low <laughs> uh, right um, so yeah anyway any any last thoughts on imposter so, syndrome one question that people have hmm. is that why are you calling it imposter syndrome isn't that just being a perfectionist also i mean basically it's a matter of degree right hmm. from here to here imposter syndrome is good as it gets here it's bad right and if you are like a perfectionist can be used in a good way and bad way right so depends on your definition but there are definitely bad ways of being a perfectionist right because always the perfect is the enemy of the good, good right yeah i mean there are i know a lot of perfectionists who never get anything done because it's never perfect enough for them right so yes in that sense i mean that's a bad thing but yeah and imposter syndrome is a little different it's like you know anything you do isn't go- uh, good enough hmm. for you hmm. right so yeah one thing i want to point out we did an episode hmm. called dunbar number oh yes right? we did so we have evolved huh? we understand about 150 people that's been our life our brains understand that right understand in terms of okay uh, 150 people i can know to a good degree yeah, and no so basically we our brain evolved at a time when our tribe was 150 people and all of them 150 lived together and there were a few campfires where you know we all hung out correct and this group of 150 people had like one who was the best singer one who was the best drummer one who was the best whatever right mm. so modern world has suddenly brought a billion people together and now you can't be the best out of a billion correct right be, i mean your brain is wired to say that i need to be the best among 150 mm. now that's an easy target but suddenly that same i need to be the best among the people here mm. when the people here becomes billion now you are setting up yourself for an impossible target that's imposter syndrome right yeah that's actually a great uh, frame of mind to be in so look for the 150 people that are in your circle and try and be the best in those 150 in one little not thing. everything yes. not everything in one yeah, the thing. best drummer was not the best dancer of right? course he yeah. was not yes yeah because yeah because <laughs> He was drumming. He was drumming. <laughs> If you are drumming, you don't have time to concentrate on dancing, man. Your hands are dancing for you. Sri Kant, Navin, Future IQ, Thank not you. imposters. Yes.